All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a number written in expanded form. We call this expanded form. But how you can take a number written in expanded form and convert it over to the standard form. I want to show you first what not to do because a lot of people do this and until you really have good number sense and you have a really good understanding of what this is all about, this is a really easy way to make a mistake. Um, a lot of people will look at the first digit in each of these numbers and they'll come over here and they just go four, two, six, five, seven. And once in a while that will give you the correct answer, but as often as not, um, as it does in this case, it gives you an incorrect answer. So don't do that. It's worth taking the time to do these extra steps that I'm going to show you right here. All right, you can see in expanded form, basically what we have is an addition problem. So really all we're going to do is take the time to line this up and then just simply add it up. Um, and we're going to be very careful with this because we've got a lot of numbers and a lot of digits. And if we get one thing out of place, um, it's of course going to make our entire number um, our entire answer come out incorrect. We're going to start here at our highest place, which is 400,000. And I'm going to put my four right here. And then I'm going to count, I'm going to count my zeros. One, two, three, four, five. And then come down here, put those five zeros, one to a column. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to put our commas in. Now I'm going to bring down bring down my 20,000. Now it's important because I'm going to add these up that I keep them lined up along the right side. And to do this, I'm going to count my zeros first. I've got one, two, three, four zeros. So starting over here on the right, I'm going to add four zeros. One, two, three, four, and then I'll go ahead and bring down that two. And by doing it that way, it ensures that I keep the right side lined up. So I keep the ones place um, lined up, and I keep my tens places all lined up, and my hundreds places all lined up, and so forth. Now let's come over to our 600, and again, let's count zeros. I've got one, two, so we'll come down here on the right side and we'll go one, two, and then go ahead and bring that six on down right here. And we come over to 50, we've got one zero, so we'll place that here. And then bring our five down. And seven, we don't have any zeros with seven, so we can just put our seven right here. And now we can just simply add this up. Of course, we'll start at our one side. Well, I've got three or four zeros and a seven. So zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus seven gives me seven. And I'll come over to my tens column, my tens place. Zero plus zero plus zero plus five gives me five. Go to my hundreds, my hundreds place. Zero plus zero plus six gives me six. A comma down. And here I've got zero plus zero. And it gives me zero. And zero plus two is two. And then I have a four. There's nothing to add to it, so we'll just bring it on down. So in expand or in, rather in standard form, this number would be four hundred twenty thousand six hundred fifty-seven. And if you recall, um, this is quite a bit different than what we did when we didn't take the time to write this out. It's definitely worth your time to write it out um, and then add it up. All right, let's do one more. All right, this is another way to write a number in expanded form. So we'll go ahead and convert this to standard form. Um, and basically what we've done is we've got, we've written each place as the product of a single digit whole number and a power of 10 number like 100,000 or 10,000 or 
100. And, and these these numbers here represent the places. This would come from the ten or the hundred thousands place. This came from the ten thousands place. This came from the hundreds place, and so forth. Right, let's go ahead and work this out. We'll work out everything in parentheses first. Okay, two times one hundred thousand. Well, I can think two times one is two. And then I have one, two, three, four, five zeros. I'm going to erase this two and do a better job of putting that in the column. So I'll put my two here. And then my five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to come over here to four times 10,000. Well, like before, I'm going to count zeros and line everything up on the right. So, 4 times 10,000. 10,000 has 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then my 4 times 1 is 4. So, 4 times 10,000 was 40,000. Coming on over to 7 times 100. Let's count my two zeros and we'll place them. And then seven times one is seven. So seven times 100 gives me 700. Coming on over to the next, um, to the next part of the problem, seven times 10, I have one zero. So we'll place that zero. And seven times one is seven. And then finally I've got eight times 1 is 8. We'll go right here. And now my problem is set up just like it was before. So I go 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8. And 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 7 is 7. And 0, 0, and 7 is 7. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 4 is 4. And then there's nothing to add to my 2, so I'll bring it on down. And I'll place my comma. And I can see that this number here written in standard form would be 240,778. Alright, I hope this has been helpful to you. Hope you have a good day.